Afternoon friends, sorry the video is uh, much later than normal. I'm standing here at uh, Bishop McDevitt High School. We're having a drive-by parade for our class of, of 2020. And uh, had to be postponed for Monday because the incident's happening in the community, but, but here we are. And it, it's been an amazing first 15, 20 minutes as folks are coming through. A beautiful day, a uh, diverse group of faculty, uh, alumni, uh, friends, parents association, and of course our, our students who are here. You know, we live in a time in which people are questioning you know, is it possible for whites and blacks to get along? Is it happening anywhere? Are we becoming more and more there of a, of a strange society, a divided society? And it's one of the things I love about this high school, situated here in Glenside, but, but a large number of our students are coming from Philadelphia. This graduating class is about 60% African-American, uh, you know, mostly the rest were white, but also some Asians and some Hispanics as well. And we have very few fights. We have very few uh, overt racial incidents. Every now and then there's something and we work it out. The Black Student Union and the student government work things out together. Student leaders have become friends. Friends, this is a testimony of who we ought to be as a church, who we can be as a human people. The gospel at today's mass, Jesus is very clear. The two great commandments, love God, love one another. In the midst of this time, this difficult time, as we're having conversations with people of the same race or conversations with people of other races. When we're talking about our elected officials, when we're talking about the police, when we're talking about protesters, I think a good question for us as Christians to keep in mind is, is it loving? Is it loving? Here at McDevitt and Royal Avenue, we're already talking about what we need to do over the summer and what we need to do to be ready for next year. And that's certainly the prism through which we're gonna look at things. How do we make our students more loving of God and the people that God loves? their fellow students, people in the community, people who look, act, and vote very different than them. The commandment is clear to all of us, love one another. We celebrate these students because we love them and they've loved their years here. Friends, for the sake of our kids, for the sake of the generations to come, let us commit to being people who love as Jesus loved. Please pray for these kids. They're ending into a very difficult time, very uncertain about what's to happen in the, uh, in the months to come as they head off to college. But with God's grace, with good habits, with great adults helping to take care of them, they'll get there. Peace.